Good evening, I'm Dylan Austin. And I'm Mackenzie Henderson. There is not much of a summer break for many kids in the tri-states this year. It is catch-up time for hundreds of kids, including in Macomb, who fell behind with months of remote learning. WGEM's Charity Bell has more. L. Do you see any words that start with L? Normally, these desks at Lincoln Elementary School are empty at this time of the summer as teachers and students get a break before coming back to school in the fall. But not this year. Second grade teacher Don Torrance says this summer she worked intensively on math and reading with her students to get them caught up. You can see a huge gap in there their learning and I felt like it was very important. Kindergarten teacher Pam Heat on Burnham says she could see many students were behind in their communication skills as well. We actually during summer school worked on eye contact. They just do not understand that when you talk to someone, you look at them. Their conversation skills are way behind. They both say the pandemic has a big part to play. Principal Kim Gillum says typically they have up to 25 students in total in their summer school program. She says this year they have 60 in just the first session. This year we found that we had a, a need for an academically uh, rich summer school. So we um, had a committee of teachers and program assistance that planned out two three week sessions. She says it won't take long for some students to progress to where they should be. Other students it will take much longer, maybe a year, maybe a little longer than that. Torin says the students are making progress despite setbacks they faced. It was fun to see the um, improvement that the students were making during summer school with their reading and um, their math facts. Charity Bell, WGEM News, Macomb. And Gillum says school starts August 19th, and she says usually they offer after school tutoring to third graders, but this year they will expand it to all grades. Both principals and teachers say there are things you can be doing now to help prepare your child before the start of the school year. They say reading is the biggest, but also practicing math problems and communication skills can greatly help kids who are behind.